Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. You know, I, I actually, I may just upload the, this first instead of the first five minutes. You know, I want to do this in parts though. But I actually really want to watch this first episode of the Rugrats reboots because I actually did re a reaction to the first five minutes. And honestly, I have to say, the graphics look great as always. Or not as always because I just start watching this. But you know what? Let me actually put this on play. One, two, three. How to download it. That's supposed to be her doll. Is it outright Just like you. Yes, she's a piece of lizard doll. And it isn't even my birthday. Mm. Go long, boys. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, if I'm mistaken. I don't remember this. It's been ages. Um. Oh, boy, the lag. It's unreal. But this is the best I can do. Is that supposed to be Susan's mother? I don't think. Okay, if I remember this, have we seen her mother? I don't remember. What on earth? Oh, and deviled eggs? And it isn't even my birthday. Mm. Go long, boys. And the father? I don't remember this. How long is long, Betty? <laughs> hey, down. Chaz, how many fingers do you see? Why, boy, that our eighth grade workshop teacher. <laughs> Wrong guy to teach us table saucing. Smell off. It's you. Yeah. I like how she's like a tomboy though. I forgot her name. What is why does Lil have a banana on top of her really? She's a toddler though. Why don't I be kind of the same? You know, she can talk, but. Oh, yeah, after that adventure they had, huh? Took a wife from his father. That's adorable. Why do you look bigger than that frame? It looks much smaller. Weird. Betty's beats. She works at a, uh, a barista. I mean, she is a barista. Yeah, no, not poop. I cited something. My daddy says I'm brave, so I'm gonna start being brave. Then, we get the name Chucky, still be a Chucky? No, not possible. If Chucky says he's gonna be brave, he's gonna be brave. Guys, can stop talking like I'm not peers, okay? <laughs> Let's play pirate adventure so you can practice. But we're playing coffee shop, not the pasty shop. That sounds like a nice game. How about pirate coffee shop? Pirate coffee shop is a good one. <laughs> Arg! I'll take your coffee. I don't know. Take your seats, your scabby wax. Villar, you're a goddamn chain. <laughs> really? I swear, Villar are really creative. They're making a mess. Why did you need mud? It's not edible. Oh! Boy, 
So I'm gonna eat this pie, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. I, I'm a brave pirate. Oh, I'm gonna eat a little mud. Brave pirates eat mud. Uh, uh, it's that they don't. Uh, no, and that's his uvula. Oh, oh. It's just his drinking it. That's so. Ooh, ooh. Part of a worm? <gasps> well, for uh, worms can still live, I think. Without, I, uh, I think I think worms can still be alive if part of their body is chopped off. I don't remember. I can look that up though, because I don't learn that much about insects. Is that grandpa? What? Now we know Grandpa's into yoga. That's awesome. Honestly, okay. First of all, do y'all actually do y'all prefer this voice of Grandpa or the original version? I mean, I love both versions though because this is a new generation. But honestly, I do like how he doesn't sound like he's like an old old man. Like he's old, but like the thing is, he still has the body of like a dirty old man, kinda. That's what I like. This is cute. The distractions that prevent I love how you actually have to braid in the back. Someone else answer the bell. Someone? Anyone? Oh, for the love of... Hold that pose. I like how he's like a yoga teacher. That's awesome. Angelica. Oh, Angelica. It's you. How about a hug? Hey, the father. What happened to the doorbell cam I installed? Hey, he looks young. Turns out I'm more of a face-to-face -face kind of guy. <laughs> Up the garage. Hey, big bro. Whoa, that's on I swear, tell me, I mean, what's his name again? Fuck, I don't remember. Why don't you invent a door cam that dad will actually... I've, I just want to say, Stu looks pretty cute, to be honest, in his version. Will you two stop? I don't need any of your digital garbage. Not the doorbell, not the seniors dating app you put on my phone. Every time I go to check the weather, up pops a picture of a granny tending her tomatoes. Let's break it down, shall we? You boys don't interfere with my technology, and I won't tell you that you're being overgrown kids. That's the point. Were we just insulted by a silver beagle? Yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, this is the new generation, so that, of course this could be different. But the babies are still the same. What's the matter, Chucky? Oh, it's just life, Tommy. It's so hard. It is. The one time I try to be brave, I eat a worm. It was only part of a worm. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here and not be anything different -er than I always am. Well, mm -hmm. and then I'll sit here too. Oh, thanks, Tommy. You know. It's kind of nice here at the peace and quiet. Look at his hair. Oh, except for Angelica and her Cynthia Obile. Is there a doctor in the house? Oh, yeah. Me. Angelica. Everybody knows a kid can't be a doctor. I guess you haven't seen my Doc McDangling bag with official sticker. Doesn't count. You're kidding, right? He said the look on it. Really, Lil?
Speak for yourself, Angelica. Oh, Spike. I gotta say, Betty, I wasn't sure about moving in with Stu's dad, but now I don't know what we'd do without him to watch all of our kids. Oh, the man's a saint. Without him, I'd never get in my 10,000 steps. 800? Faster to just walk. Um, okay, what's really fascinating is that basically, her name is Maddie, right? It's been a long time, because I don't remember all the adults' names except for basically, um, Pickles herself, Chas, and Stu, and Grandpa. But, um, is she wearing, like, how do I say this? Her sweater? If you remember the original Rugrats, right? Um, it actually had a a female symbol, which I'm guessing that post represent feminism. I don't see how that's an offensive thing, because this is in the 90s, right? But the thing is that they actually did change up her shirt, so I barely noticed that until now. Truth, what do you think? Ha! Throw some clip on bottles on there and you'll make her day. Wait, what? Hey, honey! Oh! Uh, Pardon me? Did Maddie just literally say the G word? Are you kidding me? Okay, I know we're in this generation that is totally, like, acceptable to be gay, but, like, for Rugrats? Are you serious? I love this even more now. I'm working on a special order for a new mom with quadruplets. What do you think? Throw some clip-on bottles on there and you'll make her day. She just said gay. Are you kidding me? Should I be worried? No. Unless you're afraid of facing your past. I do have that one ex-girlfriend who still kind of scares me. Ready for it? Ready for it? Our favorite band of all time is getting back together. It can't be. Do not joke about this, Stuart. Oh, he so you tell me she's bi, right? Please tell me she's bi. Are you kidding me? I, I, I should have seen this when I was a little boy because I knew that she does have that... What is it? That dyke? I mean, I'm not sure that's an offensive term for my lesbians out there that are watching this. Basically, she's a tomboy, right? But I still see her as a mother. But. Throw some clip on bottles on there and you'll make her gay. Make her gay? Hey, honey. Indeed. You're not going to believe it. Should I be worried? No. Unless you're afraid of facing your past. I do have that one ex girlfriend who still kind of scares me. Ex girlfriend? Yep, I'm getting lesbian vibes. Nice. Together. It can't be. Do not joke about this, Stuart. Oh, yeah. Oh, I kids love my pickles, dude. And we are so gonna be there. Oh, I don't know. Why is Why? Really? Why is he doing that to Wolf? <laughs> I mean, Coyote. Not good. Not good at all. Dr. Angelica, I have been waiting here a long time. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how much time am I filming? Okay, good. 14 minutes. Only part of a word. Once I heated a watermelon seed and I thought my tummy was gonna explode, but nothing happened there. Oh, this is way worse than any old watermelon seed. Chucky, I'm sorry to say you've got Wormiosis? What is that? Well, she made it up. You'll get all long and slimy, and then you'll turn into a worm. You're... Who has to live in dirt. Little fish. Lucky. 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 Takes nickels. And then the leper, ever so sassy, swallowed a warthog who was even more gassy. That's a house? Oh. Warthogs who have lizards for brunch, and lizards who eat birds have doubled the punch. And when birds eat the frogs that have finished the slugs, not to mention the fish eggs, oh. all that's left. Chad's pajamas just are adorable. Now that's a call, father. Honestly. The funny thing is, when I was little, I never would sleep alone because I would sleep with my mom until I was actually um, 13. Because I always peed in the bed and, you know, had ba ba um, bowel problems. Nothing wrong with that, honestly. I just developed later than everyone else did. Oh! 
for Chucky. So basically, this is a dream when he's actually a worm. This is pretty, pretty dark. After the worm boy sheds his favoritest arms with its favoritest hands and fingers, he can no longer hug his daddy or pick his nose. It's here in the yucky dirt that the sad worm boy lives a solitary existence, eating only bits of rotten fruit. I might be a worm, but I'm not an animal. <laughs> I'm surprised. I mean, they are insects. When they're wiggling away to avoid becoming someone's lunch. Gross. Down here! It's me! Chucky! Angelica? As a bird? Well, that's the first. Scary though, basically, dreams kind of like correlate what happens in your life. It's really accurate, and he gets eaten. And that's when my daddy woke me up and said I was having a bad dream. Which he that did. That was the scariest dream I ever heard. It. Does my elbow look like a frog butt? Yeah. Oh, I like how she said heard it. Chucky? Chucky, you don't have to hide. Yes, I do, Tommy. I have to change into a worm boy and live on the ground where it's dark. I might as well start practicing for warm life right now. Guys, this is bad. We got to help Chucky. You're right, Tommy. Let's go get him some warm food. We'll be right back, worm boy. Feel well, that's not gonna help. He's just a random man that's just watching these kids unless he's a babysitter, but okay, babysitter would still be fine, but still, like that's a little much, um, Dee Dee. How much time I got left? Okay, good. Uh, I've been filming for almost 20 minutes now. Okay, thanks, Pop, but I'll leave the book here, just in case. Oh, but you shouldn't leave the fridge door open. It's dangerous for the baby. Shag rug fibers will ruin your shiny new wheel. The mom. Hey, everyone. I wish we could stay. Not really. Sorry, I'm on an honesty cleanse. Let's go, Drew. Jonathan's circling the block. Remind me to tell him he's not getting that raise. This cleanse is freeing. Man, it's so amazing how they actually have, like, iPhones now, while back then, they actually have those big, bulky, um, telephones, right? Or, um, you know, just basically phones. But the thing is that they also had the flip ones, which didn't come out until like the mid and late 90s. So it's, 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 well, I think the mid 90s, give or take. It's been a long time. Two aren't coming to the concert? I thought you and Y2K went together like hydrogen and fluoride. That? <laughs> oh, the periodic table is comedy gold. Save the science jokes for the classroom. Oh, we're going to the concert. We'll see you there. Reserve seats at the front of the stage. 
Now, Drew, it's rude to tell people about the fantastic perks that come with me being city council person. He forgot to mention the after party passes and complimentary tote bag. Bye! She's always like that, like a businesswoman. Tuh. I didn't vote for her. I wouldn't Sorry. either. Honesty cleanse. Nah. <laughs> Sneak? Guess what's new in my diaper? Fill up. What? Hey, he loves to put everything in his diaper. My mommy's medicine book, and I found it the cure for wormy oleosis. This man has all kinds of worms inside his body, and Ned says he was gonna turn into a worm. Just like Chucky. But don't worry, there's a cure. The man got a dinosaur tooth. A dinosaur tooth. used it to wish away the worms. Now he's happy. Luke. Kids. How are you going to keep them entertained? Three words. Homemade happiness. Ha! That's two words. Right. Wait. Homemade happiness cookies. Oh, that works. <laughs> of course! Baby, I'm sorry. I'm leaving you. When you get older, you can tell your therapist this was your father's idea. Deed, chill. It's one night out. What could happen? I didn't know Dee. Oh, boy. All right, all right, Dee. We got to go. Bye, pups. Dee's like more... Paranoid than she used to be. Unless she's always been that way. Are you really making cookies just for me, Grandpa? Sorry, kiddo. But in Grandpa's Cookie Republic, everybody gets their share. Mm -hmm. Yep. But keep an eye on the munchkins while I get started. Sharing is caring. Grandpa's public isn't fair, Cynthia. We're not sharing any cookies, especially not with those walking diapies. Diapies. Look at that skull. I'll have these cookies done in no time. Oh, it's gonna take a while. I do know where you can find the dinosaur tooth, Tommy. In the park. But you better hurry because Finster's gonna turn into a worm boy any minute. In fact, he's looking kind of slimy already. Here, take my car. You said if we ever touched your car, you'd bite off our fingers. I say a lot of things. Do you want the car or not? Oh, I shouldn't talk, huh? It does. I once spent 15 days all by myself in the woods. Or was it 15 hours? Hmm. <laughs> that was one bad shiitake. <gasps> Grandpa, your stories are weird. I'm gonna go check on the babies and make sure they're uh, acting like babies. Right on, Daffodil. Right on. Honestly, I really love the grandfather already. Wait, hold on. Just want to make sure that this actually sinks in. Click. The thing is, basically, he wasn't, like, you know, all, like, hip and, like, all, like, old, you know, that's supposed to be how grandfathers act, even though it's a stereotype that old people basically are not, like, in shape and how they actually cannot do any activities. That's bullshit, right? And, honestly, after just watching the first half, because I think we got, like, another, like, 17 minutes left, that's why I'm just trying to make this in part so that... Um, I can actually get this uploaded tonight so that I can work on the second part tonight and get that uploaded in the morning instead of just waiting all night because if I do it in two parts, um, the process would be much quicker. But if I do the whole episode of one, then, well, it's just going to take forever. Plus, I thought if I just do it in two parts, more people are more likely to actually come into um, this channel that I just created. So, it's amazing how far we actually came in of Rograts. First of all, Grandpa Luke, right? He is a hipster, which is awesome, my opinion. Because, well, it just goes to show you that, well, all people can, you know, be like that, too. And basically for uh, Maddie, if, if I actually got her name right, Phil knows mom. I'm guessing she's bisexual, which is awesome. And, um, what else? Um, I don't know. I mean, Dee Dee just being, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about Dee Dee, though. I, I, I'm not sure what vibe I can get from her. But I don't know. What do y'all think about um, this episode for, so far for the first part? I'll see you for part two. You know, I gotta up with the first five minutes.